But first, we begin on the campaign trail. Good afternoon. I'm Andy Sirota. The candidates are back out after a wild night here in Houston during last night's debate. Today, Donald Trump and Marco Rubio are turning their attention to North Texas and breaking right now. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie just announced his endorsement for Trump. Channel 2's Robert Arnold followed the candidates from last night's debate in Houston to where they are now in Fort Worth. Robert. Well, that last minute endorsement from Governor Christie certainly sent a shockwave through the crowd at the Fort Worth Convention Center, all here to cheer on Donald Trump. He should be taking the stage in the next few minutes to address the crowd. He's also launching new efforts here in the North Texas area. Matter of fact, some of his campaign staff took this stage to let everybody know there are going to be RVs outside after this rally, that they should go to those RVs and they can get instructions on how they can help knock on 50,000 doors in this area ahead of Super Tuesday throughout here. Everyone we've talked to here is absolutely convinced that Trump will be the Republican nominee for president. Many people saying the same things we've heard since the beginning of his candidacy, that they like him because he's not a politician. They like him because he is a businessman, and they like him because they think he can deal better with heads of foreign governments than our current White House administration does at this point. Many families are here too. Talk to a lot of moms who allowed their children to stay home from school today so they could attend this rally. Now, not too far from here in the neighboring city of Dallas, Senator Marco Rubio was holding his own rally. He continued some of the jibes that he took at Trump during last night's debate. He continued that this morning. Matter of fact, quipping that Donald Trump's tweets had a lot of misspellings in them. He was also, too, trying to galvanize his supporters, also work the streets in the Dallas-Fort Worth area ahead of Super Tuesday. Of course, Rubio and Cruz were trying to somewhat slow the momentum Trump has had going into Super Tuesday, where a lot of people are predicting that he is going to win several areas. Reporting live from Fort Worth, Robert Arnold, KBRC, Channel 2 News.